everyone and welcome to the beautiful city of Bath, a city in North Somerset oozing with history and charm. There's waterways here, there's museums, there's spas, there's a wonderful abbey just behind me and you can go in there for free. And there's just so much more to explore here. There's many things which cost a lot of money, but today I'm going to do Bath on a budget. Just in front of me there are the Roman baths and they do cost money to go into but this is also a lovely place for just sitting outside watching the world go by and listening to buskers. There's always lots of buskers around here and just beautiful music and also they're outside the abbey as well. I'll take you around there and show you. Pretty cool. So anyway this one's an oldie. Well it's an oldie where I come from. So blues riff in A, watch me with the changes and try to keep up okay. Johnny, go, go, go. Yeah, Johnny, be good. He is to carry his guitar in a gunny sack. I sit beneath the trees by the railroad track on dancing and playing. So I was going to go into the Abbey. It's totally free entry as far as I believe. But unfortunately, I can't go in today because there's a graduation ceremony taking place. But just to note that it's usually free to go in the Abbey. So this morning I'm just wandering around the city, soaking up the atmosphere and enjoying the beautiful architecture and creativity around here. I've been staying in the most beautiful budget accommodation in Bath. I'll show you where I've been staying. And during the course of the video, I'll reveal to you where that was and how much I paid for a night's accommodation there. As I've been researching, I've found quite a lot of places in Bath which are free to visit, both outdoor and indoor. But in this video, I'm just going to show you a one day experience of a budget visit to Bath. I'll go back in the future. So do watch out for a free things to do in Bath video. The main thing I want to do today is get a free walking tour and they're run by the Mayor of Bath volunteers. They're about a two hour walking tour around the city of Bath showing all the main sites. And they're totally free. I'm really, really looking forward to that. I just bought myself a bath bun in the market here. I've never tried a bath bun actually. I've had a Sally Lund bun, but not a bath bun. So really looking forward to trying that as part of my picnic lunch. Just before I go for my picnic lunch down by the river, let me just tell you a little bit about Bath Guildhall Market. It's the oldest shopping venue in Bath and one of several markets in the town that range from flea markets to antiques markets and also farmers markets. And this place sells just about everything you could need. Trading has taken place here for over 800 years. And today's building is a 19th century building with a central dome. This is the 18th century pillar known as the nail, which transactions took place on. And it's believed to be the origin of the saying pay on the nail. I spotted several things in the market that would be welcomed as part of a budget day out, I think, including this soup for £1.90 and also tea in the market cafe for £1.90. Oh, I love just coming down to the river for a picnic. I got this in Morrison's, just about a minute's walk away from here in the centre and the whole meal deal was £4 and so yeah, look at that, feast your eyes on that, a vegetarian Buddha bowl. And I also got some fruit from the market, I'll show you that. Real bargain, five peaches and a penny of grapes for two pounds. That's kind of difficult to show you everything, there's my grapes. There was more than that, I've eaten some of them, really good. And also five peaches. Oh, this lunch is really good. I'm just going to eat it really quickly. Um, I'll probably come down the river afterwards again later, but I've just realised the time. It's half past one and the tour that I want to do starts at two o'clock. So I'm going to head off to do that very quickly. It starts by the Roman Baths, where I was earlier. So I'll see you there. So this is where the Mayor of Bath's Corps of Honorary Guides start their tours. There's a sign to point you, so you know where to stand. Since it was formed in 1934, the Corps has led walks around Bath for visitors and residents, and they're always free of charge, and they don't accept tips either. I'll put a link in the description box so that you can find out more about the walks. But generally they run every day except for Christmas day. And most days there's two tours a day. And on Saturday, there's just one. 
but there will be more information on the website, which I will link to. Over the course of the two hours, you get to walk about two miles and you see lots of really interesting and also historic sites. And you get to places like the Circus and the Crescent as well. That tour was absolutely amazing. Definitely, I'd recommend it wholeheartedly. If you come to Bath, do one of the free walking tours with the Mayor's Guides. Absolutely fantastic. There was so much history and also so many stories as well. You were like really transported into Georgian times and imagining life as a servant and living in those grand houses. It was just awesome. I'm going to show you clips of here. You've probably seen them by now. But yeah, you've got to do it for yourself. It's really, really awesome tool. It's totally free and you're not even allowed to give the guides tips either. I've just realised I'm not using my proper microphone. This is just the phone microphone, but I hope the sound is coming out okay. I'm heading off for some refreshment now. I'm going to get myself a bargain drink. I think I'm going to go back to the market. There were some bargain coffees there. And then I think I'm going to head to the park to the parade gardens it's one pound entry there as far as i remember and i'm going to go down there show you down there it's beautiful down there and i'm going to have my bath bun as well which i bought earlier before i head to the parade gardens let me just tell you a little bit about where i stayed last night bath can be very expensive for accommodation but i paid under 30 pound to stay at this lovely location on bathwick hill and it's a gorgeous 20 minute walk out from the center along the canal. It's the YHA hostel and I stayed in a dorm room but there are private rooms as well for slightly more cost. YHAs have really improved since I was young. There's no chores anymore and there's USB charging and individual lights by each bed as well as an ensuite bathroom. For dinner I chose the cheapest item on the menu seeing I was doing a budget day in Bath and that was a margarita pizza. And I also treated myself to a bottle of Southwest Orchards raspberry cider. After dinner, I went out to watch the sunset over the city of Bath, drinking my cider, and it was just heaven. I could have had breakfast at the hostel, but I decided to have a cereal bar which I had with me, and I bought a coffee from the coffee shop there before heading into town. So, back to where we were, and I'm at the parade gardens I've just bought a nice cup of tea from the market and I'm going to go down and drink it down there. So here we are in parade gardens. Just come down here with a cup of tea from the market which cost me £1.90. I'm going to take a little walk around the gardens afterwards but I'm just going to sit here enjoying my bath bun which I got earlier and drink my tea and then we'll have a little explore. Really, really beautiful garden. So it is a private garden and that's why there's an entry fee of two pounds. So here we go, let's try a bath bun. Mmm, really nice. It's coming from like a bread roll with some spices and some sultanas in it really. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. Really good, very nice. <laughs> the pigeons are hoovering up the crabs. But look at this. There's a huge, great lump of sugar in there. I don't know whether that's normal for a bath bun. If you tried bath buns, let me know if that's normal for a bath bun to have a huge, great lump of sugar in the middle of it. Actually, I said it was sultanas, but it's um, currants. So it's like a bread roll with currants and some spices and some nipped sugar on there as well. Very nice with a cup of tea. See this bandstand just to the side of me here? It has music, like musical notes and bars and clefts all that sort of thing if you know about music and uh, it's 
it's really beautiful. It was made here in the park, I believe. And Paul from West Country Wanderings was with me here last time and he explained all about it. So do check out his video. I'll link to that at the end of here so you can see him explaining all about this wonderful bandstand. Oh, look at those clouds. <laughs> it's still beautiful here though. Let's go and have a little look down by the river. It's a lovely bakery where you can sit inside and eat with the views of this wonderful weir here. But that's a bit out of my budget today, so I'm admiring it from down here. Just beautiful. But the rain's really starting to come down now, so I'm going to head into the parade tunnel thing. Don't know what you call it. I'm going to go in there and shelter for a bit anyway. Oh, the rain is really starting to come down now so I think I'm going to move on from here. I'm going to pick up my luggage, I put that in storage, it was £5 for the whole day and I thought that was quite a reasonable cost for not having to lug my luggage around and the place was really near to the station so I'm going to give you a link to that in the description box below this video. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, I've got 799 subscribers at the moment, probably by the time you watch this I'll be over the 800 mark. And I'm just so, so grateful to you for subscribing. It means the world to me that you value my content that much that you want to subscribe. And it really helps YouTube to push out my videos to other people who might enjoy them as well. It's totally free. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button under this video and press the bell icon as well and you'll get notified when I put new videos out from all around the southwest of England as I travel around on my days off and holidays. So I'm going to say goodbye from here. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.